Amazon to reimburse U.S. employees who travel for abortions. Now, why am I calling this a 4D chess maneuver? So, they get to virtue signal. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are saying, like, oh, dude, you, that is fucking evil. And, and it is evil. It is. But there's an ulterior motive. Think about this from Amazon's perspective. All right. Yeah, you're about to get your mind blown. Imagine you have women on your workforce. Said women get pregnant. Do you convince them to have the babies and then take months of maternity leave that you have to pay for and then come back months later and uh, you know, demand that they get a raise or whatnot? Or do you just encourage them to get an abortion and come back into work the next day? You see the big brain move Amazon pulled here? This is for their benefit. Oh yeah, sure, we'll help you get an abortion as long as you come to work next week. See what they're doing? It suddenly makes sense, doesn't it? From a business perspective. Now, Amazon reportedly told its staff this week that it will reimburse up to $4,000 in travel expenses every year for medical treatments, including abortions. That's way less money than they'd have to spend on maternity leave. Now, Amazon's new policy applies if an operation is not available within 100 miles of an employee's home and virtual care is not possible, according to the company's message obtained by Reuters. The announcement comes as the Supreme Court opinion overruling Roe v. Wade was leaked to the press in what was a possible attempt to uh, intimidate one or more justices to reverse their vote or to ignite a left-wing push to pack the Supreme Court before the Democrats lose Congress in the November midterm elections. Most likely. And if this was the other way around, the FBI would have already been uh, raiding those journalists. Guaranteed. Well, meanwhile, states are passing legislation limiting abortion, leaving some pregnant mothers to be, uh, wondering if they might need to travel in order to successfully kill their unborn children. <laughs> Poor things. Oh, yeah, no family equals ability to force overtime. See, and that's another key difference between men and women. So, in general, employers prefer married men to single men because married men that have a family to support are much more likely to put up with your bullshit because they can't af they really can't afford to lose that job and have their their children starve right so married men specifically men with kids are desirable by companies because they will bend over backwards to keep the paycheck now with women it's actually the opposite cuz women are much more likely to use the excuse that they need to work less to take care of their families. Now, the way men take care of their families is by working more and providing better for them, right? The way women take care of their families is by actually being there physically taking care of them. So a woman with a family uses that family as a reason to get out of work. A man with a family, it's the opposite. It's like, fuck, hey, boss, you know, little Billy needs braces, and I just found out those fucking things cost like $10,000. So uh, can I get some more overtime thrown my way? Uh, the reimbursements that Amazon announced on Monday are not limited to only abortion, Reuters noted. The company will also reimburse other treatments such as services involving cardiology, uh, cellular gene therapies, and substance abuse disorder. Well, what, what about uh, taking a trip uh, to Mexico to get some uh, substances to treat Corona Chan that you can't get here? Uh, the news also reportedly came on the day Amazon stopped offering paid uh, time off for U.S. employees diagnosed with uh, Corona Chan, allowing them to have five days uh, of uh, excused unpaid leave instead. Oh, shit. No, you, you can't do... Oh, okay, so... When when you're working minimum wage, you can't afford to lose five days of pay. Holy fuck. You, no, like Amazon just fucked them over there. Like, oh, yeah, well, we don't want you coming in because we don't want you infecting the rest of the office. So we're just going to force you to stay home with no money. Like, but I literally need this money for my for my, I need, need my next paycheck. Wow. Now, Amazon's Monday announcement might also be an attempt to quell negative sentiments around its employees uh, who have expressed discontent with the manner in which company founder Bezos operates. Well, y do you not realize you're literally playing right into his hands here? Do you not realize that? 
This is his way of making sure you work for him longer. If you had that baby, you'd take months off. That That's months of lost productivity that he'd have to pay you to not work. If he could just convince you to kill your baby instead, it's better for him. So last month, Amazon workers at a warehouse in Staten Island, New York, voted to unionize, which is the first for Amazon. We'll see how long that lasts. That's what I'd be curious about.